Yes, I did have to be on this side of the street, actually. So Canon has finally admitted that vloggers exist and they are catering to them with a V10. V10, designed for vlogging, is it? I'm the one who scrutinizes that theory. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. We're on the Sony X3000, of course, the vlogging legend of our time. And that will tell us all we need to know. So I wake up in the morning, I see Canon Rumors has a new rumor V10. Vlogging camera designed for Canon. Looks like a smartphone. Canon, it's their biggest fear in life. I tell you, they're the only company that ever openly admits, like, oh my God, these smartphones, huh? Don't worry, we can work with you. We have connecting to smartphone super fast abilities. You're terrified and it's embarrassing. So it looks like a smartphone designed for like claw fingered freaks on their way to Starbucks and I don't mind it. So my initial thought was, is this a one inch sensor? Because I don't know, man, Canon one inch sensor designed for vlogging. Could that compete with a GoPro? It would destroy it if you do it right. So I'm looking through the math. It says 6.6 .6 mil lens and I'm like, I go to see the G7X Mark III and it's an 8.8 .8 to 30 something. I'm like, okay, 2.7 times crop factor. That means it's a 24 to 100. This is wider. Therefore, 18 mil, one inch sensor confirmed. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, 2.8 though. That translates to 7.56 Tonys. If you ever invite seven Tonys to your living room, you're getting like broken vases. They're crashing into each other. What the flying? Does the garbage truck symbolize that my vlogging show sucks? I don't think it does. So this V10, I'm pretty impressed so far. Canon's actually designing something for vlogging. I'm quite happy to see that. You know, you don't see it. Only Sony is doing it so far and the Generation Z marketing research will be the death of me. I don't know what information Sony's gleaming from those meetings, but they're terrible ideas. And no, I would never want a Sony ZV anything for vlogging. You're so wrong in everything you're doing. But whatever, maybe Canon can make up for the mistakes. No, apparently not. After reading through the specs that I wrote down here. Now, first thing I saw that I almost cried 1.1310 megapixel sensor. And I was like, less than two megapixels? Wait, 4K? No, you need at least nine megapixels for 4K, so that's just a wrong spec. That's teasing me. That's rude, if anything, super rude. There were free books, but he got to them first. What are the joys he's gonna be reading tonight? Something I won't be. So there's no way that's a one megapixel sensor. I wish, oh, we would be in heaven. And then I see the specs, 4K 30 HD 60P. Are you fricking with me? Are you kidding me right now? There, I had to look back into the archives. I said that weird. For a camera that was not even capable of doing that, like we're looking at like Sony a6000 could do similar specs to that like HD 60p I think my first camera ever did that I don't think it did actually but it was close to doing it I can't believe you would do that to me how dumb do they think vloggers are I don't get it we just want to have fun girls just want to have fun man we're getting nothing here not even HD 120p. Like, what the hell are you doing? Any smartphone is doing like 480 now. Like 960 is the minimum most of them are coming out with. With one inch sensors, by the way. And three lenses. And you can call people. You can say hello to your mom. Why don't you talk to her more? Just as a side test, I've unplugged my lav mic now. I put a little furry wind thing in here. There's zero wind, so it should be working flawlessly. Is this better to your ears? Or is it tinny sounding with this device on front? It makes an echo chamber, it's not good. I do believe it's worse. Let's stop.
when I sprinted for my life in the opening shot of this episode. That was 120 frames per second. Sony was doing that back in 2012, probably. This is an old 2016 technology camera. 120 was the minimum. It actually does 240p, but at 720p resolution, and the moire on it is painful and bad, but I still use it time to time. To think that we're getting HD 60, probably 8-bit, complete afterthought. This is not designed for vloggers. It's designed for the beginning baby vloggers. The ones that the ZV-1F is targeting. The entry level that your phone already beats. I cannot believe we're in that category. Just, I want you to know, camera companies, that there's a pro vlogger. Call them a YouTuber. A content creator? The hell is that? Dumbest name in the world? CC. What a dumb camera conspiracy. CC. Content creator. It's me. Oh, God. Help. Help. So there's pro vloggers out there. We're not 12. We're actually, like, capable of creative thoughts. And we do things and film slow-matic cinematic sequences that inspire people. Not all of us, not me, but like some of them do. And we deserve better specs, man. How come you're not giving it? You're, nobody's catering to the pro vlogger. You could suggest that Sony ZV-E1 did, but really it's recycled parts of something they already had. They put it in a different body. No firmware is coming to it. I don't know. We deserve more. With Canon V10, I keep wanting to say Z10. Have I said that already in this video? Oh boy. It has like skin beautifying features. I'm like, no. Nothing here is free. There are old lady glasses. Oh boy. Oh, who hit the jackpot tonight? Are these tiles? Oh, you're coming with me. Seems like the right size of truck for this neighborhood. It's quiet too. Was that electric? Must be a Tesla or something. Even though this thing is obviously designed for budget hobos, it's not going to be good at all. Your little GoPro's doing 2.7K, 240 frames per second. Like, no, you're not competing with a GoPro or even the X3000. Okay, whatever. But if I was to entertain your foolishness and buy this thing, I have questions. What's the stabe like? Is that number one priority at least? Uh, I see Canon lens. I'm not seeing IS on there anywhere. Is it stabilized somewhere? Is there IBIS or lens stabe or something? Or is it just digital and really bad implementation of it? What's the stabe like? It has a mic jack, that's nice. Are the preamps okay or is it your worst one from your old camera like the 6D Mark II had like pretty hissy hamps? A real question is, did they try at all? Is this something they cared about and put some thought into? Because, like, by the look of the specs, it's not looking like that's the case. It's a complete afterthought. The body, I don't know, it seems awkward to hold. I love this thing. You hold it top to bottom. In fact, the guy who gave it to me was like, I love how you can hold this, and he was holding it on the side, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? No, it's up here. You dick. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> so like this claw grip thing, I don't know. It does have a tripod screw, so maybe you do that. But the form factor might be nice. And you press record with the thumb button. It's all thought out nicely, except the specs don't match a damn thing unless you're comparing it to 1800s technology. Why won't anyone make the things that I ask for? I just want to show the cinema to the world. And nobody is even coming close. We're getting further and further away from the goal. Still, even with the utter trash specs, you never know sometimes. It might just have a filmic look to it. And it's like, wow, that's, they use this old CCD sensor in here. How come it looks so amazing? Sometimes you get that. So maybe, and then you get your HD 60p. It's somewhat slow. And like all of a sudden you're like, well, this battery really lasts good. Uh, the audio is amazing. I, I can put it in my pocket. The lens cap. Is there a lens cap? I doubt it. I'm curious. 
but I know Canon will never send me one to review. They're the one company, actually, they're one of the, like, four companies that don't talk to me. I think Sony, Panasonic, Fuji are the only ones who's ever sent me something by themselves. Nobody else. Nikon will not talk to me, even though I could be your ambassador. I will switch everything to Nikon right now. Z30 with that 12 to 400. Yeah, I'm doing it. The sad reality is the Sony X3000 is still the best vlogging camera in 2023. And it hurts to even think it, let alone say it. If I do a side-by-side -side right now, it'll probably be more stable than this Canon V10. Has better slow-mo, better low light probably. You probably have a 30 megapixel sensor in that thing. I hold hope alive that they, they're not gonna pull one over on us and give us a baby vlogger kit for 469 dingers. Bullshit. So thank you, Canon, for thinking outside the box, but put some effort in next time. Maybe ask around me, ask around my email for specs that we need, and then you'll have something worth loving. I'm going to leave after you buy a Fuji Assassin t-shirt. Oh man, if Fuji made this V10, dare you dream it, it would have as good as low light as I'm doing now in the shade. I'm going to go. This audio was good, huh? Not even compressed at all. I'll leave. Subscribe for more videos. See you next